Hello. Um, I'm here staying the night with the Krista. And oh. we I haven't it's been over five years since anything like this has occurred. And so we're kinda chipping in now a little bit. But not really. We're having pizza and um talking and we are discussing things dealing with anxiety and things not dealing with anxiety. But it's been good so far. Good. And I'm excited. And, um, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Wait, do We ordered have... pizza, and apparently, this box dreams of becoming another box. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh. So, our plans. We're just going to eat that pizza. We already did, actually. We're kind of full. Yes. Uh, watch whatever scary mm. movies or something talk a lot yes. um and in the morning we are going to do church because that's important we're gonna do church mm -hmm. um i even brought my bible and everything and then we're gonna go to starbucks and barnes and noble or starbucks inside barnes and noble we're gonna yes. do a two for one a two for two for <laughs> and then <laughs> will be great so I'm having fun and my anxiety has tried to get to me but I'm not letting it I think did I erase that video that I did about the safe person thing I think I did I think so. so um yeah so the thing is I started having anxiety right I started feeling the nausea and all this stuff and like feeling like I was gonna like you know faint or something and then um, I was like, but why, right? And it's because I'm doing something different, something new that I haven't done in a while. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm having the anxiety. Now, Krista, on the other hand, is also having anxiety, but it's because her hubby is not, is like 10 hours away, 10 and a half hours oh, away. Wait. And there's no way she can like run to him. He is her safe person. Now, in old videos, I've discussed safe people, safe places, things like that. So that's her safe person. So she is feeling that pull, that anxiety, because he isn't by her. He isn't near her. He isn't like just an hour away. He's not, you know, right outside, you know, or whatever. And so she's having that anxiety where she's like feeling like, I need him to come back. I need him to hurry up. I need him to hurry up and come back. Yes. Right. And so I don't have a safe person anymore. I used to, but I do not anymore. And I don't even have a safe place. So I've been struggling more than I should be, but I have been. And I, it's funny cause I just realized I've been realizing, Hey, I don't have a safe person. Hey, I don't have a safe place, you know, but that's, I mean, it is what it is. And, uh, but hers is her husband. Because they've been together forever. And, and my safe is... place is the hospital. Yeah. Really? Yes. <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, mine is too, though. But there's a lot of people that deal with anxiety that their safe place is not the hospital. Uh, but there's a lot who are. I know I've spoken to a lot of you who have told me that, like, you'll go park in the parking lot of the hospital and it makes you feel better. And then you'll sleep or whatever. Or... But then there's also people that if you go to a hospital, it's going to make your anxiety skyrocket. So, like, it, it, it all depends. Everybody is different, you know. Uh, me, I like hospitals because I feel like I'm at a place that if something does go wrong, I will be saved. The chances of me being saved, the chances of me being okay from some catastrophic event is greater, is better because I'm there. Because I'm already there. They don't have to wait 30 minutes to come and pick me up somewhere and then take mm -hmm. me, you know. So um, that's my, so yeah, I can see that being a safe place for me. But I don't really have that kind of anxiety anymore like I used to. So, um, but yeah, the safe people thing, safe place thing is, is real because I used to have that too. My ex-husband, as horrible as he was, used to be my safe person. And uh, I don't know why. Maybe because he was the only one there, but, uh, but, uh, but yeah. And so I know that feeling like what she's talking about. I understand completely. Um, and yeah, so it is what it is. Is there anything else you wanted to bring up? 
Uh, no, I think that covers everything. Yep. All right. Well, there we go. And um, remember, you're not alone. Woo! You're not alone. You're not alone. My throat just decided to try to go out on me. <laughs> but anyway, I will talk to you later. Love you guys. Remember, you're not alone. Bye. We're going to watch something scary. scary. Bye.